Hey everyone, this is the mind of Lilith and thank you for joining me today. I just saw an extended clip posted by OWN TV where Marceau and Martel were discussing uh, the custody battle between Martel and Melody. And Martel said that he's going to do Melody a favor per se. He didn't say that verbatim, but he's going to do her a favor and drop the custody case because number one, he wants to do his best for the kids. <laughs> number two, Melody has been doing better. And number three, he doesn't really want full custody. First of all, Martel is so full of crap because if you guys remember at the end of season two, Martel threatened to take Melody to court for full custody before they even got divorced. Before they even got divorced. And Melody responded, I will knock you in your motherfucking face. That's what she said verbatim. I remember that clip very well because we were all like, are you serious, Martel? The audience was like, are you serious, Martel? You have somebody else out here pregnant and you're threatening to sue your, your wife at the time for full custody because she filed for divorce after you got somebody pregnant. And I remember that moment because I remember being so disgusted with Martel at that point. And if you guys remember, was it season two or three? It was season three and uh, Martel told Chris, or it was season two, I forget now. Martel and Chris were talking about the 47 acres and Martel told Chris Fletcher that he was going to file for full custody. And Chris was like, what? So everybody who Martel told that he was going to file for full custody of the kids, they were like incredulous. They were, they were, they were like, why are you doing this? Why are you, what are you talking about? That doesn't even make any sense. Even Martel's mother was like, what are you talking about? I'm not raising any more grandchildren. <laughs> That's y'all kids. Martel has been threatening Melody with this shit since the end of season two. As soon as Melody separated from Martel, he was trying to paint the picture that Melody wasn't a good mother. She wasn't cooking. She wasn't taking care of the kids. She wasn't cleaning. Lo and behold, we find out shortly after the divorce that Martel didn't do the girl's hair. He wasn't cooking. He cleaned sometimes, but he was not as hands-on of a father as he presented himself to be. I can imagine, and I talked about this before, I can imagine being a woman doing everything at a very high level, running businesses, being a wife to someone, giving birth to children, raising children, taking care of a household, doing all those things, and then your needy husband's telling you, you're not doing enough. You're not a good mother because you're not satisfying me. Martel said he wants to do his best for the kids. That's why he's dropping the custody case. If Martel wanted to do what was best for the children, number one, they wouldn't be in a situation in the first place, right? Martel Melody would probably still be married if Martel hadn't cheated and had a side baby, if he was interested in what was best for the children. Number two, even after the divorce, he would not have filed for full custody because Melody is pretty much doing everything that she was doing while she was married, right? So what is Martel talking about? Martel is acting like Melody has to meet his standards for parenting in order for him not to harass, stalk, bully, and emotionally and mentally abuse her. Like, you have to meet my standards, even though we're not married anymore, and even though I'm the reason why we're divorced. You still need to meet my requirements for parenting. Even though when they first got separated, I would see Melody like spending a lot of time with the kids, taking them to the beach, going on vacations with them, spending money on parties. Like she was very active with them. I don't see that as much with Martel. Not saying that he's not doing that, but I remember the children, like right after they got divorced, um, Martel had the children in the car with him and he had them reciting the things that he wanted them to say to make Melody look like a bad mother in comparison. And I remember uh, Milani and Boss Baby, like they were saying things in unison, like they had a script. And I remember Tank looking at them, you know, disappointed or sad. He wasn't participating in that. He was trying to protect his mother. He even told um, Iyama that um, he felt the need to protect his mother because his father was acting like a crazy man. Mr. I want to do what's best for the kids now wants to drop the custody suit because Melody is meeting his expectations and his standards. If it wasn't for him, they wouldn't be in the situation in the first place. And if it wasn't for him, things would not have been as nasty and gnarly as they have been. All of a sudden, he wants to be the bigger person. All of a sudden, he wants to be the bigger person. 
Now he cares about how his actions are affecting his children. He didn't care during the five-year affair. He didn't care after he refused to allow Melody to take the furniture from their second home so that the children would not sleep on the floor, right? He didn't care about calling their mother a whore on national television and emotionally and psychologically abusing her throughout the relationship. He didn't care about none of that shit. But all of a sudden, now he cares about the kids. <laughs> all of a sudden, now the kids are the priority. Everybody knew that he didn't want full custody. Like, and Marcel was like, yeah, I wouldn't want full custody either. I wouldn't be surprised if Martel is dropping his custody suit because he doesn't want Melody, honestly, to have <laughs> the free time to enjoy somebody else. It could be that he can't afford full custody either, which is probably true. Um, but more than likely, I see him wanting to have control over Melody's time. And if he has full custody of the children, he'll have less control over her time. <laughs> She'll basically have more time to entertain other relationships more time and more freedom to like work on businesses to grow an empire like martel wants to be able to to use the children as a weapon against melody and by getting full custody he won't be able to do that anymore he won't be able to do that so it's never been about the children it has never been about martel being the bigger person and the better man it has always been about maligning and controlling melody from day one like I said, when Melody first came back to the house after the pandemic or, you know, after they, they had the break, the show went on a break and then Melody went on social media exposing Martel's affair. There was an episode after that. I think it was season two, part B, something like that. Season two, part B, at the end of that episode, Melody was like, why are you still here? And they have a long drawn out argument and Martel says something like Martel wants full custody of the kids. He spoke in a third person. And I was like, no, this man is not, this is insane to me. This is, this is when I started to feel ill or sick watching the show. Just the amount of audacity that Martel has. Now, almost three years later, two and a half years later, two years later, even you want to drop the custody case because melody is doing better we don't see her doing any more or less than she was doing when she was married to you but who the fuck are you to be micromanaging her parenting as if you're the more responsible caretaker as if he's the more responsible adult the only thing that martel is more responsible for is the divorce He's never been more responsible for anything in his marriage. Melody managed everything. Martel doesn't even throw his children parties. Not that we've seen. Melody like throws events for her children. Not to say that you're a bad parent if you don't do that. But comparatively, Melody puts a lot more effort into giving the children fun and enriching experiences. This is why she rented a whole beach house in Florida for her family to go on vacation. Martel didn't chip in and say, let me give you a couple of thousand or a couple hundred to help out with some of the whatever. Melody probably would have said no because Martel's manipulative, but Martel just came along for the ride, right? And in the last episode, Melody was like, when have you ever paid for anything? When have you ever paid for anything? Your children have the same birthday every single year at the same time. So instead of Martel chipping in in advance to give, you know, a couple of hundred dollars to help towards the cost of the, you know, throwing the party, he wants to show up like King Kong daddy, uh, empty handed and basically seeking credit for something that Melody put together. It's like, I want my kids to see me. Okay, then you should have thrown your own party or at the very least pitched in to help Melody with the party. I don't know if I've ever seen Martel, maybe they don't film it, but I don't know if I've ever seen Martel plan any event with his wife, ex-wife. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I may be wrong. I could be missing something that was posted on social media. They could have done things together as a family. I don't know. But since watching the show, I can remember Melly doing most of the, the, the heavy lifting when it came to planning events for the children. I would go so far as to say that Martel probably spent more money on his mistress than he has gifts and parties for his children. Let me go there. Okay? Arion was saying that when Martel was married, he was giving her thousands of dollars sometimes. I think she said the most he ever gave her was like $5,000 for her new computer. Did Martel ever spend that kind of money for his children's parties since he loves them so much? Or did he spend more money tricking off on women than he did on his children? You don't get to show up at somebody else's party that they spent time, energy, effort, and resources on and then walk in and try to get the credit as if you are daddy of the year because you showed up to a party that somebody else paid for and planned. Melody's very busy, but she still has time to plan these events, but now she has to adhere to your standards for parenting. 
who are you? <laughs> who is my town? Like, this guy wants to be a boss so bad. But a lot of times, people who are not confident in themselves, they think that being a bully makes them a boss. Martel is trying to bully Melody with this custody battle. Okay? So, Martel never cared about what was best for the children. Never. That's number one. Number two, Martel never wanted full custody. Okay? Never. I've said this since day one. He never wanted full custody like that. It was always about the manipulation. Narcissists do not want responsibility for shit. Does he want full custody of his son with Arion? Why does he want full custody of four children instead of the one he has with a single mother with no resources? That's dependent on him. Wouldn't it be easier to get full custody of Knox than it would be for the other babies? Oh no, it wouldn't be? All right. So the reason why the children are miserable is because of him. This is 100% squarely on his shoulders. And again, somebody said that Dr. Francis said that Martel does not have personality disorder. I don't think that Dr. Francis is allowed to disclose anyone's diagnosis anyway. That's number one. But there is something wrong with you when you try to punish somebody for the consequences of your actions. Martel has been making Melody suffer for years. He made her suffer while he was cheating. And now that she's divorced him after he was acting like he was divorced for five years with a whole girlfriend, he's continuing to make her suffer. But he cares about the kids. Martel is the type of person who complains about something to act as if their complaints is addressing the problem, right? So this is like somebody you're working with, you know, complain about all the work they're doing. Oh my God, I'm working so hard. I'm working so hard. And they ain't doing shit. Okay. <laughs> Martel thinks that because he's complaining about Melody's parenting, that makes him the better parent, right? So I'm the one complaining the most about the kids and the babysitting and having a nice stable home for them. That makes me the better parent. <laughs> By default, I ain't got to do shit. I can break up my family. I can cheat on my wife for five years. I don't have to pay for anything. But me complaining about your parenting makes me the better parent. <laughs> Automatically. This is what Martel was doing when he was saying that he was the primary breadwinner. Remember he said that? He was the primary breadwinner. He was the head of the household. He was the dominant parent. Remember he was saying all this shit as if that made it. So, so instead of doing the work to actually be that, right, he wasn't doing that. He wasn't the primary parent, obviously, not cooking, not cleaning for the kids and cheating on his wife for five years. Um, he wasn't the, what was it, the primary breadwinner because Melody had the builder's license and if it wasn't for her, then they would not have their companies in a sense. And he wasn't the dominant parent either because again, once Melody divorced Martel, he was too broke to take them anywhere. That's what he complained about. So all this issue about Melody keeping the kids from him for 56 days. I remember when they first got divorced and Martel posted a picture of Sugar Mama but he mentioned his fifth child in that post and Melody went on a rant because she knew what Martel was doing. She was like, I'm paying for the, the kids clothes, the school education, the house. I'm paying for the house. Am I even living in? Why am I still paying for this? The house that I was forced to leave because you wouldn't leave, right? I remember the first Christmas that Melody had after uh, she left Martel. I remember the social media clips, okay? And Melody looked very sad. From what I remember, was it was it Thanksgiving or, or, or Christmas? And either she told someone, or we found out that Martel was not there for Sugar Mama's first Christmas. And Melody mentioned recently in life that Martel did not even mention Sugar Mama's birthday, her first birthday, because it's so close to his illegitimate child's birthday. And that's why Melody went off. When Martel mentioned um, his fifth child while holding his fourth child, he was trying to use Sugar Mama to protect him from looking like a deadbeat father. Okay, so your father of the year posing with your daughter, right? It's all, all about the optics. Your daddy of the year, look at me, I love my kids. But you're only mentioning your fifth child because you're holding the fourth child you have with your ex-wife who you have been abusing and maligning and disrespecting for years. So Martel has been using Melody to make himself look better during the marriage and even now, right? Now you want to be the bigger man, the better person. Martel's acting like he's the only one who's responsible for safeguarding the well-being of the children. Melody just doing whatever she wants to do. She's just here and there and here and there. 
I remember a few months ago, Martel went on a rant on social media saying that Melody was not taking care of us meaning him and the children. He tried to put himself in the same category as the children as if Melody was being a bad mother and abandoning the children by not uh, servicing his needs, by not meeting his expectations. So if you don't make me happy, you are hurting not just me, but the children too. But at the same time, he doesn't think that having an affair with his wife and abusing her was even more detrimental to the children, right? He doesn't care about that part. This is why, you know, for me... Um, <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to stand 10 toes down on this. I'm not a therapist or psychologist. Martel is a narcissist. He doesn't have narcissistic traits. He has a personality disorder. Because only a narcissist would be this delusional to not take accountability for any of the things that has been clearly documented on this show for years. He's in his own la-la land. It's still Melody's fault that he cheated in his mind, right? And so now he wants to look like the good guy by dropping the full custody suit. Yet Martel even admits himself that the custody suit was frivolous at best. It was frivolous. So you had your, your, your ex-wife in court for two years over frivolities because you have nothing better to do with your life, but you care about the kids, right? Melody wasn't abusing the children. She wasn't neglecting them. They weren't starving. Like they weren't being uh, brutalized or molested. None of that was happening. All of this was because of Martel's ego. So Martel acted like the only course of action that he could take if Melody had four or five babysitters was to file for full custody. There was no middle ground there. There was no middle ground, right? He didn't say, let's talk it out, whatever, no, no. I want full custody because you have too many people watching the kids. Not because you're abusing them, not because they don't have enough to eat, not because they're dirty, not because whatever, whatever. He tried to make it seem like they were dirty too, okay? He tried to make it seem like Melody was not washing the children. I remember that clip that he posted on Instagram. He was like, oh, I don't sing, but you know, I got social media. And he used social media to make it seem as if Melody was not washing the children. Because Melody had taken them to a friend's house overnight since Martel could not get the kids. She took them to a friend's house overnight. The kids had dirty clothes, the, the, the clothes they wore the night before in the bag. And they're like overnight bags. And Martel made it seem like as if Melody was dropping the kids off with dirty clothes. He had to wash them out. When it was actually his fault that he couldn't pick up the kids that night in the first place. When he was supposed to. What was Martel doing? Spending time with Ariana and her new baby? Is that why Melody had to drop the kids off at her friend's house? Because you were too busy? Mr. Father of the Year? Anybody who believes that Martel's dropping this custody suit because he's growing up and he's a bigger man? No! He realizes it's a losing game and it's probably very expensive. And he's going to lose. He's going to look bad and he's going to lose. So he's not doing it for the kids. He's doing it to preserve his image. And on top of that, he doesn't want custody anyway. He never wanted full custody. I said this months ago. If Martel was the full custody type of parent, right, when Melody was off working and neglecting the kids as he said she was doing, he would have been picking up the slack on her end, right? He would have been cooking for the kids. He would have been cleaning, doing hair. He would have been doing all the things that Melody said he never did when they were married. Mr. Father of the Year. Like, anybody who believes that Martel's not a narcissist is, is, I don't know what to say. You don't know enough about NPD, maybe. But I think Dr. Francis does believe that he has NPD or has diagnosed him with something. If he hasn't, that's on him. But even if he has, um, he doesn't have the right to disclose his medical information. Martel is his client, so I get it. Okay, fine. But there's no way in hell. <laughs> there's no way in hell you can look at this man and say he's normal. This is, there's something profoundly wrong with Martel. He's the type of person who will burn down his entire house just to catch a little annoying fly or mosquito. Like he'll, he's so destructive and has no awareness or I don't know awareness. Like does he have awareness? Most narcs are not self-aware. Are they not self-aware or do they not want to take accountability? I think they are self-aware and they just don't care. And I watched the season premiere of Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, a couple days ago. And Sheree said, no matter what people see on TV, Martel's never done me wrong. <laughs> He's always been nice to me. First of all, he just met you. Why would he treat you like shit? He just met you. What are you talking about? Sheree is too damn old to be this naive. To say, oh, he's been nice to me, so I can't believe anything I've seen on, you know, on social media. So he may be a better man because he's nice to me. As long as he treats me right, I don't care how he treats his ex-wife. Who says stuff like that? You just met the man a couple of months ago. Melody has been married to Martel for four, what, 12 years? 
a long time she was married to him okay she saw him at his best and at his worst and that's why melody was like you know in season uh what was it two at the end of season two she was like i don't even care about the baby it's him i don't want to be with him his character is fucked he has no integrity no morals no character he's willing to destroy the mother of his children because she left a situation that he said he wasn't happy in he tried to destroy melody for leaving him after he said he wasn't happy with her and he showed this he demonstrated this for five years martel not only demonstrated that he wasn't happy in a relationship he also demonstrated that he didn't give a fuck about melody's feelings whatsoever or her period it was both so because i'm not happy i'm gonna make you unhappy and to make matters worse, I'm going to justify treating you like shit because I'm going to blame you for my unhappiness. I'm going to hold you accountable for my cheating. If Melody spends the rest of her life alone, okay, if she never gets married again, she will be 10 times happier than she was while she was married to Martel. He lost because she realizes that, or she realized back then, that she was happier without him than she was with him. It was more painful to hold on to him than to let him go. That's what he has to understand. The scary thing about Martel is that he doesn't think that Melody suffered enough or he doesn't care. Like he doesn't think about how much she was suffering while he was cheating on her for years. While he disrespected her after the divorce. Like he doesn't care, Has he has no awareness or no concern for what he put her through at all. To the point where he feels entitled to a reconciliation. To the point where he blames her for ruining his public image so like guys this is this man did everything possible to destroy her publicly he's on camera doing this he's being filmed doing this and yet he still blames her for the public having a bad perception of who he is so because melody did not cover him anymore right melody wasn't using her intellect and her ambition and her beauty to cover for his nasty shit she is now to blame for him not getting any more business opportunities if it wasn't for melody martel would not have a brand in the first place if it was not for melody martel would be you know he'd probably be doing lawn care but he would not have been the CEO of Holt and Holt and Holt Custom Homes. Without Melody, uh, the scope of Martel's success would have been very limited, okay? He could have made some money. He was making six figures a year doing lawn care. I get that. You can make some some money doing that, um, you know, especially in, in places where there's lots of land and lawns and so on. He could do that fine. But Melody uh, scaled up the business. She turned it into an actual business and not just a hobby or a side gig martel would not have been wearing three-piece suits mowing lawns okay he would have been wearing overalls or a t-shirt or jeans nothing wrong with that but martel loves him some suits he loves looking like a businessman more than actually being a businessman melody gave him that legitimacy she legitimized his delusions of grandeur by making him the co-owner of the company as opposed to just a supervisor or manager and so when Melly took that away from him, again, he blamed her for it. He started at the middle or at the end. So now he thinks he has the credibility and the maturity to micromanage his wife when he could even micromanage his own behavior. He couldn't even micromanage his own penis. He allowed his penis to destroy his empire. He couldn't even micromanage Arion. None of it. But you want to micromanage a powerful, competent, successful, intelligent, ambitious woman. Somebody who is, I'm not going to say better than Martel, but Melody is a lot more competent than Martel. So Martel wants to manage Melody because she's like a boss. So it's like, if I can manage the boss, I look like a boss by default. If I can control Melody and be her puppet master, I gain credibility and legitimacy by default. That's why I mentioned earlier that Martel is not interested in controlling Arion because she's like small supply for him. It's easy to control adult, a dummy, somebody with low ambitions, all that shit. It's easy to do that for any man. But for a man to be able to control a woman like Melody, he got to be the man. He got to be the man. Right? You have to be on top of your shit because Melody's on top of hers. So Martel wants to control Melody to make it seem as if he's on top of his game. <laughs> like, I have the, the ability to check this woman who is smarter than me, more competent than me, more disciplined than me, more ambitious than I am, more intelligent than I am. Like, I'm the man because I can control her. A lot of men do this to powerful, successful, competent women. 
Kevin Hunter did the same thing to Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams was already a boss when she met Kevin. Okay, so she had low self-esteem though. So he kind of filled in the blanks, I guess. <laughs> he kind of uh, came along and gave her some self-esteem, I guess, or she felt better about herself by being married to him. But again, Martel wants to use his access to Melody or use Melody to make him look better, period, in every level. I remember in season one, Melody was like, I'm not gonna keep letting him use my light. Something like that, right? She knew he was using her at some point. She knew Martel was using her. That's why he didn't want to let her go. She made him look good as hell. Melody made Martel look really good. She was responsible for his blow up. So now he's mad because she took the Emperor's clothes away. She took the Emperor's clothes away. And she was able to do that because she gave him the clothes in the first place. She gave Martel his crown in the first place. And what did he do to her? Try to take her crown. And then try to get her to bend on one knee before him right to use her as a footstool after she coronated him melody coronated martel she made him a king period end of story and he felt some kind of way about that because again if i can make you a king i can also take your power from you i can dethrone you and i think melody even admitted staying so long as she did because she wanted to protect martel too she was very aware of his shortcomings and flaws because she had to cover for them so she stayed married to martel not just for the kids but also to make sure that the emperor wasn't buck naked in the streets ashy and broke i remember watching the horse and carriage ride the family did while melody was pregnant they were all wearing white, you know, Boss Baby was there. Martel was sitting there like he was some goddamn royalty. I was like, this is a fucking joke. You guys remember that scene from season two, part one. It was a joke. A pure, unadulterated joke. To see Martel sitting there as if he's like some, some regal leader, fake figure. Like the way he was sitting, like he really belonged there. Nigga, you were an imposter. You did not belong there. Melody put you there. And Martel knows this. And now he's bitter. So... Again, I'm going to close it out here. Martel is the one who was responsible for all this happening to the children in the first place. He does not get to say that he's doing something for the benefit of the kids after he destroyed the family in the first place. This is all his fault. All of it. All of it. Maybe 2% goes to Melody because it takes 2 to tango, whatever they say. But this is majority Martel's fault. 98% of this is his fault. 98, 99%. Anybody looking at the situation from the outside in, from season one, would see that Martel is responsible for the demise of his marriage. So therefore, it is ridiculous for him to act as if he's a standard bearer for excellent parenting. How dare you? After all you have done. That's insane to me. This dude is insane, yo. I keep laughing because what? <laughs> you gotta laugh sometimes at the ridiculousness. And I have a zany sense of humor. This is so ridiculous, you either gotta laugh or throw a brick at somebody's head. Like, you know, somebody is so ridiculous that you just laugh at them and just walk away rather than punch them in the face. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing this, you basically I'm doing her a favor. I'm letting her off the hook because she met my standards. She followed my rules. So now I can leave her alone. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I look forward to reading your feedback. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will speak to you soon.